Welcome everyone. My name is Alicia Evans and I am the Global Emissions and Account Manager. This video will show families how to enter grades into our online grading reporting system, AppleCorp. This video is in English and you may be able to add captions in another language in your YouTube settings. This video is for families registered with HLA outside of the United States, including all U.S. territories and military families living abroad. First, please go to the Home Life Academy website and click My HLA icon at the top right corner of your screen. You will enter the email address on your account and password to log in. If you don't know your password, you may click Forgot Password and a password reset link will be emailed to you. Once you are logged in, please click the green Apple icon at the bottom of your screen that says Apple Core. This will take you to our grade reporting platform. Please note that our system does not work when accessed through a mobile device. It is best to use a laptop or desk computer to enter grades in our system. Our site works best when accessed through Google Chrome or Safari. The first thing you will see is HLA's new grading scale. The grading scale went into effect on August 1st, 2023. If you would like more information on the grading scale, please feel free to click the hyperlink that will take you to a webpage where we describe our new grading scale. You may click the X to close the window. If you are a family registered with HLA directly and not a member of our groups program, you will see this green submit button. If you are registered in a group, you will not have this button. We'll discuss these differences in a later video. For individual families who have this button, you'll need to complete all reporting before you click the submit button. Before we begin with the instructions on how to enter grades into Apple Core, we would like to very quickly review our school calendars. HLA supports three different school calendars, depending on the needs of your country. We have names and specific start dates and end dates for each calendar, as you can see here on this screen. It is very important that you are following the correct school calendar for your country or region, and that your enrollment and your school years in Apple Corps are the same. For example, if you're following the Alpha calendar, you'll be reporting the 2024 school year. Your enrollment should be for 2024, and you should be choosing 2024 as the current school year for your students. Regardless of what calendar you follow, HLA requires grades to be reported twice a year, January 15th and June 15th. If your student has not completed his or her, coursework by that deadline, you are welcome to put in a point in time grade for the course and then come back when the course is complete to put in the final grade. There is no harsh penalty for not reporting by the deadlines. However, it can cause delays in producing your end of year transcripts. You will choose your first student whose grades you would like to report. We will choose the first student here and we'll click the View Report Grade button. We will discuss the portfolio section a little later in this video. There are several buttons here and we'll discuss each of these. The first button you will see is named Add Path. This is mainly used by our students in high school, which is grades 9, 10, 11, and 12. This tool is used on one goal-based paths. To understand your students' goals after they graduate, this is not mandatory, but is there if you would like to use. If you would like to choose your student's path, you may do so. Otherwise, you may leave a blank. Again, this is for students in grades 9, 10, 11, and 12.
If this is your first time accessing Apple Core and you have nothing entered, you will need to first add a new school year. Once you click the add or edit year button, you will be given many options to set up this current school year. In this example, we will enter in the school year 2023 2024. You'll choose the correct school year in the first drop down menu. Then you'll choose the student's grade level for the school year. In our example, we will choose grade 10 from the student's grade drop down menu. If this is correct, you will click add year at the bottom of this box and you will see the school year and grade level on the right side of the screen. Then click return to student. If you follow the alpha school year, you will need to scroll down in the school year menu until you find the correct year you need. If you have multiple students, you will need to be sure to create a new school year for each student. All of the information you enter into Apple Core is specific to one student at a time. Once you're back at the screen where all your students are listed, please click on the view report grades for your first student. You will see here that the school year is set up and now we need to start adding in our education plan. The education plan is the list of courses your student is taking this year and the resources or books your student uses for each course. HLA requires all students to take a math course and an English course or language arts course every year enrolled with our school. Parents may choose other subjects based on their students' goals. For elementary students, we ask that an additional two to three courses are taught each year. For our high school students, we recommend you map out which courses you'll take throughout grades 9, 10, 11 and 12 with our goal-based planning sheets. More information about this can be found on our website. In this example, we will be entering in the education plan for a high school student first. You will click on the button that says add course. A new window will pop up and this is where you will enter each course one at a time. First, here you will see course type. You will need to make sure that if you are entering information for a high school student, that high school course is selected. This should only be selected if the course is high school level and for high school credit. Next, you will need to choose the category for your course. These categories can include mathematics, English, science, Bible, electives, social studies, and many others. We will choose science in this example. Once you click on the category, you will see the specific course title appear. You may choose from this list we have provided. If these course titles most closely match the course your student is taking. However, if none of these course titles match the course, you're welcome to click here and add in a custom course title and add in a new title for your course. Next, you will need to add in the resource for this course. The resource is the specific textbook or curriculum your student used in order to learn the materials. Resources do not have to be limited to textbooks or curriculum. Resources can also include specific educational websites like Khan Academy. Remember, the whole world is your classroom. Be sure to list the actual resource and not to use words like unsure or unknown as the system will not accept these words. If your student is taking a class at a local co-op or tutorial center, you may use the co-op name on the resource. For example, these students take their class at our local tutorial, which is called Home Life Tutorial. So in the resource name, I will add here. In the category menu, you will see this option, other credits, staff only. Please do not use this category as it is for our staff use. This should never be used as the parent and it can complicate your reporting and our staff will need to adjust your transcript. In this special courses box, 
You are welcome to select this if any of these apply to your course your student is taking. Please refer to our website to see policies regarding AP, Advanced Placement, Dual Enrollment Courses, Credit by Exam, Modified Courses for Struggling Learners, before checking any of the boxes in the Special Course section. If it appears that these boxes were checked in error, our, our team may remove the tags for accuracy. If verification is needed for any of the, these special courses, we will contact you to ask for this verification. Once you have all the information entered for the first course, you will click the Add Course button here at the bottom of the screen. You will see this window pop up that asks if you would like to add another course to this school year. You will choose yes and add another course if you have more courses to add and will continue until all of the courses for the student are entered. If you have added all the courses, you may click no, but you are welcome to go back and add more courses to the student anytime by clicking the add course button under the student's name. Now you should show all the courses for your education plan entered for the student. All of the courses you entered will be highlighted in yellow and will show IP as the grade. This stands for in progress. We will now show you how to add in grade for each course. To begin, you will click the button on the right side that says edit course. Once you click this, a new window will pop up. This is where you'll enter the grades for this course. At the top, you will see the name of the course. There are several drop down menus here. The first one is grade. In this menu, you will choose the grade that your student received for the semester. You can click on the grading scale button at the top of the student information for clarification regarding letter grades and percentages. Next, you'll see the semester menu. In this menu, you will see three options, fall, spring, and summer. It is our recommendation that you primarily use the fall and spring options. It may be helpful for you to also think of these as semester one and semester two. While fall and spring will be different depending on which hemisphere you are in, just keep in mind that HLA wants to see at least two semesters per school year. The summer semester is an optional semester. Next, you'll see the credit menu. This is only used for high school students. Those in grades 9, 10, 11, and 12 are for high school courses taken in grades 7 and 8. For our school, we consider one high school credit the equivalent of 150 hours of instruction and work in the course. You will typically assign one whole credit for one full course. This is usually done over two semesters with half or 0.5 credit per semester. For global families, there is not a limit on the number of credits your students can receive in one year. However, please be sure that when you are reporting these credits that the student has studied approximately 150 hours per subject in order to receive one full credit. If you did not select a special course designation when you entered your education plan, you are welcome to do so here. We recommend referring to our website where we elaborate into specifics on how these designations should be used before selecting any of these options. If you need to review your resources, you may do so at this time. As the primary teacher of your student, you are welcome to change your education plan and resources at any time. You do not have to ask permission to do this. You may make these changes directly in Apple Corps whenever it is necessary. You will also not need to use the transfer credit box. An important note. In some countries, like South Africa, families need to show the percentage for the grade the student received. 
As you have seen in our examples, you are only required to submit a letter grade for each course. However, if you are in a country where percentages are needed, you will need to add this information at the very beginning of the resource box so that our staff can clearly find the information to add it to the final transcript. As for the additional notes section, this is there if you need to access it. Generally, our staff uses this box to add our notes if changes are made as a result of our high school reviews and credit audits. Once you are satisfied with the first semester's grades you have entered, you may click Save. You will see that the course is no longer highlighted in yellow. You will repeat this for all the courses you have listed in your education plan. Please be sure to click Edit Course each time. In order to re report semester two or spring semester grades, you will need to click Add Semester. It is very important that you do not click Edit Semester at this point, as you will write over your current information with new information instead of adding in your second semester. When you click Add Semester, you will see the same pop-up window from the last time but some of the information from the first semester has automatically been populated. If the information is not correct, as in the student received a completely different grade from the first semester, you are welcome to change it. Be sure to add in spring semester or semester two and make sure that the high school credit value is also correct. If there's no other information you need to add, click Save, you should see two separate grades per course, one for each semester, listed now. You'll continue to do this with all of the courses you have listed in Apple Core. If you have an elementary student, your process for entering grades in Apple Core will be similar to the high school process, with just a few differences. First, you'll see that this student's course has been automatically selected as a non-high school course. The categories all start with K-8. That means this course is considered to be taken between the years of kindergarten through grade 8, according to the U.S. grade system. You will still choose a category and then a specific course title. Again, if the selection of course titles are not accurate for the course your student is taking, you may click custom course title and enter one. Be sure to add in the resource for the course and then click save. In order to add grades for the spring semester or semester two, you will click on the add semester button and make sure that all information for that course is entered. Once you've entered in all of your courses and grades and credits in high school, you will need to click the student button at the top of the screen. If all of your reporting is complete, you should be able to click the Submit button. In January, this is the Submit for Review button to review your Semester 1 reporting. In June, this is the Submit for Approval button to approve your account for the upcoming school year. The system will review all the entered information and let you know if any additional items or information is needed. Again, if you are a member of one of the HLA Global Groups, you will not have the Submit button. This is only for families registered with us directly and independently. Other optional features that are in Apple Core are attendance. Attendance is not a requirement for Global Family. However, if you would like to use this optional feature, you may do so. You are welcome to record the number of days per semester that your student completes. 
report card. All families are welcome to download a one semester report card for your student. This is not an official school document as it is not signed or stamped by our school officials. This feature allows you to download one semester at a time for each student. Test. This button will show you any official test scores that we have received into our HLA offices and entered for you. Test scores can include SAT, CLEP, or CLT scores, to name a few. These are official university entrance exams that may be required by other schools. It is not a requirement for graduation that HLA students take these exams. However, if your student does take these exams and the scores are sent to us, we do add them here for you and they will appear on your student's final transcript. Summary. Under the HLA grading scale, all letter grades receive a GPA, grade point average, value on a 4.0 scale. Under the summary button, you can see your student's current GPA based on our grading scale. You can also see how many high school credits the student has earned to date. Portfolio. The portfolio section is a wonderful tool that you may use to notate your students' other accomplishments outside of academics, extracurricular activities, awards, special projects, and more can be listed here. If requested, we can also send this along with our official school transcript. For high school students, Next to the portfolio button, you will see the high school or graduation review button. If your student is in grades 10, 11, or 12, if a high school transcript review has been completed for your student, you will see a record here and you will be able to access the review and read through the suggestions our academic counselors have made. You will also see this button labeled current credit summary. If you click this, you will see a chart of how many credits HLA requires for graduation, how many credits the student has completed in each category, and how many credits are needed to meet our requirements. This is not a transcript, but merely a tool to help you quickly assess where your student stands for graduation requirements. Other helpful tips and information. It is HLA policy that we secure transcripts once an official transcript has been generated and sent. No changes can be made to the transcripts once this has happened. This process protects the integrity and strength of HLA documents and protects your records and expedites future requests. HLA does not allow changes to transcripts or documentations once official documents have been released without approval. You are welcome to send us an email to explain your situation. If you plan on your student completing a course during the summer semester, but may need a transcript for the first two completed semesters for an official purposes, we recommend requesting an IP in progress transcript so that your school year is not secured before your final grades are entered. Grading skill. As we mentioned earlier, HLA has a grading skill listed in Apple Corps. We also recognize that other countries may use different skills than the one we have listed. You are welcome to use your country's grading scale. We use a website called scolaro.com to research each country's scale. You can also grade your student on the 100 point scale. We hope that this tutorial video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, you are welcome to send an email to global at homelifeacademy.com and our staff will answer your questions. Thank you for choosing HLA. It is our pleasure to serve your family on your home education journey.